Groundhog Day. I don't think anybody cares it's Groundhog Day, especially where we are. You know what I mean? It's, I it's warm here most of the time. It's just something that always come up. But like Peyton, do you ever pay attention to Groundhog Day? No, no except for when I was like in elementary school and we yeah. would do stuff. But other than that, I didn't even know it was Groundhog Day today. So that right. says yeah, anything. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Well, <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. Yeah, regardless, it is definitely sweater weather. Right, I mean, it, uh, like two days, it was great weather, and now it's like like cold. My wife, she had to. Um, I feel like I'm not com- completing my sentences. My wife is in Santa Barbara because my son Kemp had a game there last night. Right, so she's like, "It's raining here and it's terrible, and I think the storm is on the way to you guys." And then I look outside, I'm like, "I think it's here," but I know Kyle, your husband is a weather like savant. I would say that. He is the type of guy who looks at, like, the Doppler radar mm-hmm. to see where the storm is, what direction it's moving in, how intense it is. Yeah, I look out the Doppler window. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's raining. He, he knows that it's going to rain in about five minutes. Mm-hmm. But we're laying in bed last night, and he's sitting there staring at it, and he's like, wow, we got a big one headed our way, right? And I think you look at it one time, right, and you know it's coming, and then that should be it, right? Mm-hmm. I keep looking over, and he like he'll start looking at something else, and then he'll check back in. I'm like, <laughs> "Why are you checking back in? It's not moving that fast. Like it's been one minute. It can't have moved that far." So knowing that he's like, you know, he's into weather. If I ever have a weather question, I usually ask him. Yeah. Like, do I need to wear a sweater tomorrow, or do I need to wear a short sleeve shirt? I usually ask my husband. So I'm in the process of ordering my kids like shirts for Valentine's Day. Right? It's two weeks away ish. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little less. And I'm like, I don't know whether to get them sweatshirts or short sleeve shirts. So I want them to be able to wear it. So I ask him, I'm like, hey, what kind of weather do you think it's going to be on Valentine's Day? It's pretty close. And he's like, it's two weeks away. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, it's too soon to tell. No. <laughs> like, you idiot. I'm like, wow. okay. I was like, oh, I'm we sorry, two, two weather guy, out. you loser. You don't even know what the weather's going to be like in two weeks. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's like, he's like, I just feel like such an idiot because apparently you can't tell the weather two weeks in advance. I didn't know that until this very moment. Could, I thought you <laughs> could Google you it. Could, What's the weather think. like Valentine's Day? <laughs> like, like, sometimes when you plan way ahead. Like you you kinda, would think, yeah, right? But he says true. it would be too, it's too unpredictable that far out. I've I seen like, a seven-day forecast. Oh, wait, seven I've, never day seen forecast. The, I've never seen a 14-day. I have neither. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry for asking the wrong weather question, my friend. <laughs> I figured Ridiculous. that's why they plan the Super Bowl and everything around when they do, because they know when the weather is going to be better. Well, they can control it now, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, raising the eyebrow on that one. Okay, so now why do you think you're getting Alzheimer's? Well, I, I've shared before that I feel like just like my brain doesn't work right. And lately I feel like I think it's early onset Alzheimer's because Scott will ask me to like text someone like, hey, can you text and find out when, can you text your mom and find out when we need to get this done? I'm sure, I'll do that. And then start doing something else. And then he asks me later on that day, did you text your mom? No, I didn't. <laughs> I totally forgot. (laughs) And this has happened probably, I'm not even exaggerating, at least 10 times over the last three days. Oh, wow. (laughs) Are you out of brain vitamins? Do I need to give you more? I'm laughing because it's like, he gets so frustrated. He's like, I kind of needed to know that answer to plan out the day or the weekend. And I was like, I know, but I forgot. I don't know what Well, maybe I need the answer to the weather on Valentine's Day. (laughs) Maybe I need that answer, and then you'll get your answer. I know. And I'm like... Quid pro quo. Listen, I would probably be frustrated, too, if I told you to text someone or asked you to text someone, and you don't, and you keep forgetting. I would also be frustrated, too, but now I've almost wanted to turn it into, like, my own little bit at home with him. (laughs) He asked me to text someone. It's a bit. I forgot to turn off the stove. <laughs> Funny bit. It's hilarious, right? <laughs> My Alzheimer's kicking in. Don't mind me. You know what I think it is? I think it's cell phone addiction. Because I, I, I'm i guilty of that. I think my wife's guilty of it. I think because how many times have you ever gone... Oh, let me find that out. Let me go to my phone. And then you go to your phone and then immediately you're on to something else. Totally. And you forget, of the time. you forget what it is. And then sometimes I'll be on my phone going, wait a minute. I was coming here for something. Yeah. What was I coming here for? Yeah. Right? Because you, you, like, it's just a habit. You go, I cook on Instagram right away. First thing I do. And I'm like, 
what was I doing? Oh, I was I was going to my emails. You know I what know. I mean? No. So I, like, I don't even care what's so, going on on Instagram. Why am I on the app right I now? Would, I would guess that you don't have early onset Alzheimer's to give you some peace of mind. No, you just need like Now, a- keep in mind, I am not a doctor. <laughs> what? Hmm. You're not? I am a licensed physician. 